The Chinese model that I'm quite delighted about today is not DeepSeek V3.1, which is a 700 GB model that you can't run on your computer. The model that I'm pretty happy about is Quen 2.5 VL 32 billion parameter model. This is their vision language model, but they have released a newer size, which is 32. The reason why I'm quite excited about is two things. One, it is under Apache 2.0 license. That means it's a permissive license and you can do anything with this. Second, if you have got a powerful machine, like for example, you have got a 36 GB RAM, like in my case, you can download a 20 GB file locally on your computer and then start right away using this model. I'm not going to show you this model right now to use it because I've got to clean up my desk at this point. But if you were to use this model, this is completely free, open, and the model is stunning. The model does a pretty good job of two things. One, it is a very good with mathematical reasoning than the model that was before this. And then this model has also got a better image understanding and reasoning, which they call as fine grained image understanding and reasoning. In terms of benchmarks, if you see the Quen 2.5 VL series of models have always scored well. So you have got Quen 2 VL 72 billion parameter model here. This is the previous version. And then we have got Quen 2.5 VL 32 billion parameter model. So across all the benchmarks, you can see that this model has scored much better than the 24 billion parameter model that comes closer to this, which is from Mistral. So Mistral 3.1 24 billion parameter model is 8 billion parameter lesser than this. And this model you can see obviously is scoring better. But there are certain benchmarks where you would expect that this model to score well and that can have real world impact. One is obviously Math Vista. This model has better math understanding. So this model has scored 74.7 billion parameter. Sorry, it, it has scored 74.7 while Mistral 24 billion parameter model has scored 68.9. And in fact, it is much better than the Gemma 27 billion parameter model, the latest Gemma 3. In fact, like if you were to just for a moment, take the proprietary model from OpenAI, which is GPT-40, the model version that was launched on May 13th. So this is 0513. This model is pretty good when you compare it with the closed source model. And that is a huge leap forward. Like imagine like the fact that you can run a quantized version of this model using something like Olama or LM Studio. And that model gives you almost on par performance with respect to GPT-40, which is something that OpenAI has never released as an open model. So it's a significant achievement in terms of what open source can achieve. And this model is also good with other benchmarks like MBVP, Human Eval, which are not multi-modality alone, but also the pure text capabilities. So purely if you were to use this model only for text capabilities to create Python code, let's say this model has scored on MBVP, this model has scored 84, which is almost closer to what GPT-40 mini has scored. And if you were to use this model only for let us say GPQA, which is something that everybody's after these days, the GPQA diamond data set, then this model is on par with Mistral 24 billion parameter model and better than GPT-40 mini. So across all the benchmarks, human evil, math, MMLU pro, this model is actually a good model. And you can see from the demo use cases that they've given one is that this model has got good image understanding. So you can, as a user, you can go ahead and then say, I'm driving a truck on this road. It's 12 o'clock. Can I reach the place 110 kilometers away before 13 o'clock, which is I think one o'clock. So one thing that you have to understand is the reason why you need a vision language model not just purely an OCR, which is an optical character recognition. So a lot of people confuse a vision language model only for an OCR. So you don't want to only read the latest, but rather you want to use the reasoning abilities of these models. So like, for example, this question. So you have shown this picture and there are like three speed limits. Now you are asking, can you reach that particular place in this one? So this model does all these analysis and then it gives you the final answer. No, you can't reach. And then it gives you the details about why you can't reach. If you were to ask this model for mathematical understanding, you can upload a picture like this and then ask the model to solve the problem for you. And then it does a pretty good job of solving it. And also, as a matter of fact, this model is pretty good with Chinese, which is no surprise. So you can upload a food or math problem and then ask it to give you something back. And then it is going to give you something back in Chinese, which I guess in this case, 
it's a recipe so yeah it's probably like the soup and bunch of other things that it is identified we've got a hugging face demo to quickly test out the model without having to download the 20 gb file locally so this is a hugging face spaces where you can go chat with this model so i'm going to go first start with very simple items so i'm going to go to the internet and then ask something which is very popular indian uh, south indian food idli sambar so i'm going to just ask idli sambar but i'm going to pick a picture where there is uh, idli sambar and vada and also some kind of a chutney so this is like an ideal picture where i've got like idli sambar and chutney and all those things to copy this uh, save this image first of all i'm going to after i save this image to go back to quen and then upload this picture in this case i've got uh, the idli sambar vada and um, after i upload the picture so the picture is available vada is not there so i'm going to say can you list the items that are used to make this and also share a recipe and tell me how much time would it take okay submitting this and first so for this to happen first it has to identify what is on the picture so you can see that it is saying that this is idli a south indian steamed rice cake and served with various chutneys so it identified idli it identified chutney i i don't think it it caught the samba there um, but um, everything else you know now it is doing the job of going through the recipe and then telling us how to make um, the uh, chutney and it surprisingly like i thought that it has not identified sambar but you can see that it is giving me sambar powder or dal makhani mix just to for me to cook sambar which is pretty fascinating so finally it is following instructions well one of the advantages that they've mentioned is the response is more aligned with human preference so one is like it's going to give me responses that will sound good cool and it also gave me the time estimate which is more aligned with the question that i asked so i asked for time estimate it gave me it said preparation time is 1 hour soaking and grinding and you have to ferment it 8 to 10 hours and then cooking time is 10 to 12 minutes i would say like 15 minutes but i think this is quite point on for this particular model which is also not from india or even in the west that's very interesting so let's clear, clear the history and i'm going to just bring in my typical question which is to count how many items are there i'm going to take this picture and i'm going to save it once again save the picture and go back here and then upload the picture and i'm going to say how many at least are there on this banana leaf okay so we expected to count the number of at least first identify the number of at least count the number of idlis and then come, come back to us so it correctly identified four idlis one of the reason why we asked this question with this particular picture is it shouldn't miss identify the chutney the white color chutney which in this case is a coconut chutney as an idli because that also describes how good the prowess of this visual language model so they they are arranged in a row there are also two small balls con uh, containing chut oh wow it says coconut powder idli it's a coconut chutney which is served with idli so this is idli sambar but um, you know i can forgive quen for not being very specific here so the next one i want to do is i want to pick up a math problem okay so i'm going to go here on um, math equation and i'm going to just uh, take one of these equations for example in this case i'm going to send this and then ask it to explain this equation uh, so i'm not sure if it can solve it i have no idea what this equation at this point is but i'm going to just ask it to solve this so i'm going to go ahead pick it can you explain this equation and probably solve this submit it in while let's go read about it so that the ai doesn't think that i'm a complete dumb idiot okay it says the most these are the most beautiful equations according to mathematicians what is this this is a loner differential equation okay some equations are beautiful because they are unreal and uh, unexpected relationship this is introduced by charles loner in 1923 describes the time evolution of a family of a conformal angle preserving functions I have no no clue zero clue what is it okay so the equation on the blackboard is um, differential equation I, i don't think that it completely got what equation that we are referring to it it's trying to solve and um, i'm not sure if it is a solution that it is supposed to do okay so let me just stop it um, here and then maybe ask does this equation have does this equation have a name anything popular named after somebody 
Okay, I've got to stop this. I've got to clear the history. Okay, it's not stopping. It's it is on to the mission. So I'm going to refresh this page. I'm going to upload this picture again. I'm going to ask this question. I don't think it can say this, but uh, let's give it a try. So this is the equation on it's a stochastic differential equation. Okay. So again, it, it doesn't seem to have the right information about what the equation is. So that's something that um, maybe it's uh, something that it should ideally improve. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to do the same thing, exactly the same thing that they've given in the example and uh, see if it can uh, basically figure out what is that we have given. So I'm going to upload this chart, copy this, sorry, save this image and go back here. Give me five useful insights from this and also finally three tweets. Upload the picture. Submit it. So I wanted to understand the chart. Sorry. I didn't upload the picture. Okay, so I've uploaded the picture. So the Quen 2.5 and 32 billion perform overall. Okay, Mr. Small shows so, uh, competitive performance, um, particularly on um, Doc VQA. Did I just miss Doc VQA? Oh, yeah, I've missed Doc VQA, which is a very important. Uh, benchmark for understanding the documents um, document scanning and other things. That's very interesting. The tweet is AI models compared with um, this, this, it's giving me three tweets. It gave me five insights. Doc QA is the hardest benchmark. All the models achieve higher score. Quinn VL 72 billion scored 96.5. So overall, this model is doing a pretty good job of what you would expect naturally from a vision language model. And I've just tested it in one language, but it will be pretty fun to test it on multiple languages. For now, this is an excellent model. If you're an open source enthusiast, you've got enough compute, then I sh I believe that you should celebrate this model more, much more than the 600 GB of DeepSeq V3.1. I'm going to make DeepSeq V3.1 video, but for now, I'm waiting for them to release complete details about the model. For now, Quen 2.5 VL 32 billion parameter model from Quen team, which is from Alibaba. Thanks to them for releasing it in Apache 2.0 license. You can directly go ahead and from Hugging Face, you can download the model. They've also released the AWQ, which is quantized format. And we already have MLX format as well if you're on Apple. So let me know what you feel about these models. See you in another video. Happy prompting.